Hello and welcome back to a new video. Um, today I want to film a little drift with me because I will go drifting with my boyfriend in Cologne. Um, <clears throat> I lived in Cologne until we moved um, to another city where I will study in a few days. Um, but now we will visit Cologne again and go drifting because Cologne has many beautiful drifting places and I'm very excited for it. Um, I was on vacation like two weeks ago and then I was ill and I'm currently still ill but I'm um, better now. Yes, I was ill for one week um, which was very annoying. I couldn't do anything and um, now I'm very happy that I feel better and I can go out again and yeah. The weather is actually very beautiful today. Last um, past few days it was just very rainy so I'm very happy about the sun. <laughs> so this is my list um, and if you're in Cologne you have to go to these places like I was in every one of them um, except the flea market hall thing so I don't know how this is but um, we first want to go to Oxfam that's a charity shop um, where they where they donate the money um, they get. This was the shop that I worked at, um, but since I moved, I sadly can't work there anymore. And then we wanted to go to Vintage and Rex. Um, I'm very excited for this. I was there one time, and it's a very big, like second-hand shop with two um, floors. So I'm very excited for this one. And then we want to go to Pick and Wait. Um, that's a very nice store, but it's very expensive, so I don't know if I will get anything there. And after this we want to go to Think Twice. This is my absolutely favorite shop because they always have sales for like $2 each item and stuff, so that's very nice. And they have a lot of vintage stuff there, so not just like um, um, used like secondhand clothes, but also vintage clothes, which is very nice. And then we want to go to Humana. Um, yes, Humana is also very nice. And I actually never tried the pumpkin spice latte at Starbucks. So maybe we will see Starbucks there. And then I want to get a pumpkin spice latte. Of course, the vegan one, if they sell vegan ones. Um, but I would love to try it out. Um, Okay. 
today. It looks so yummy. We will have a little movie night here on our sofa. This is our food. Mm, very yummy and vegan, of course. <laughs> and Mowgli got his little afternoon snack as well. So then, Kinder? Oh, you're so sweet. Mm. Yes, he really enjoys his dinner today. <laughs> so I got this new crystal, um, which is in. Um, I will write it here because I don't know the English word, but it's citrine in German. And then I got this one here, which is an orange calcite in German. <laughs> Um, and I'm very excited for these two and the third one is a selenite and I'm very happy to have a selenite in my collection now because selenites are very nice for cleansing your other crystals so I placed it in the middle of my little crystal like um, dish and yes I'm very very in love with these three new crystals <laughs> I wanted to get them for so long now and I'm very happy the weather is just so beautiful and um, I'm very happy to show you the piece that I got yesterday. Um, today I had my first um, like university day. Um, it was just like a little information thing on Zoom so it was all online. But I was so excited and it was really good. So now um, I can film and I can show you the piece that I got and yeah. So, here are the pieces that I got yesterday. Um, I think it's almost a year ago that I drifted so many, think at, so many things at once and there are many good pieces in there, um, very like special pieces because I, I have a lot of basics and I wanted to have like more special things and here are the things that I got on other days like um, a few weeks ago. These are just three things that I thrifted, but I wanted to show you them as well because they're very new um, in my collection of thrifted clothes. <laughs> so I think um, I want to start with like just a basic scarf, um, which is in a very like warm brown color and it has these little thingies and I like to use scarves to create like my headbands um, as I'm wearing right now. So I think that's a perfect find, especially for fall. And then I got a very beautiful turtleneck because, um, if you don't know, I love turtlenecks. Um, and I just have like basic turtlenecks. And then I found this one, this dark green turtleneck. And I don't know if you can tell about it, but the structure of it is very unique. And yes, I was very happy to find it because I think it's just a basic uh, turtleneck, but um, with this pattern it's just so unique um so the next thing that i want to show you is this beautiful like um t-shirt kind of thing the arms are a little bit longer than on a normal shirt but um, i love the pattern it's like a t-shirt that i can wear and be like okay i look like coffee <laughs> i look like cappuccino or latte macchiato <laughs> i don't know i love having like special um and unique patterned shirts um yes and i think that's perfect for fall because who does not want to look like coffee in fall i mean i look like a coffee um <laughs> thing <laughs> the next thing that i got is very like um grunge fairy wipes um to me it's this little knitted um jacket or cardigan kind of thing that you can i mean i will show you how i'm wearing it but Yes, I love um, how cute this looks, especially in fall over turtlenecks. It's very unique and um, yeah, it looks very like fairy core to me. Then I want to show you two vintage sweaters. Um, you know my love to vintage sweaters. I love them so much. And I found these beautiful ones. Um, I wanted to get a sweater with like um, stripes. Do you call them stripes? I don't know. For so long and, and I actually have one but like with some other patterns as well. And I just wanted to get a like basic striped tea, um, pullover and I love these oversized arms. And this one is 
so nice um it's very big so um yes i'm a very small pers person but this one is so big <laughs> and again it's like um perfect vintage uh, sweater with patterns and it's wool so big arms arms that i absolutely love um so the next thing that i want to show you is the most beautiful silk dress that you've ever seen i promise because um i actually was looking for a silky silk dress you know what i mean um for so long for many years now but i never find the perfect found the perfect one like um I didn't want to buy it new because I wanted to have a vintage silk dress. I wanted to have like a light green silk dress with a perfect fit and I never found one because it's very hard to like get a, the perfect color and the perfect fit. Um, but yesterday, I think it was my day because I found so many good things that actually fit me pretty well. I found this beautiful silk dress. It's in a very light, light, um, green color and it actually has prints like patterns on it um, like these like floral patterns and <clears throat> you guys that's the most beautiful silk dress that I've ever seen it fits perfect like it's oversized but it does not look too big on me <laughs> so I can't wait to um, like style this dress with my dogs and um, like a big coat over it and yeah i'm very happy but um even though it's very pretty it's not my favorite item of this whole haul because <laughs> i saved it for the last piece um it's the most beautiful like um sleep trousers that i've ever seen because oh look at these prints oh it looks so good the I mean it's very oversized I have to wear it with like a belt to make it fit me and I just have to wear it with an oversized hoodie because it will look very weird on my waist um, <clears throat> because it's so big but I couldn't resist I mean these patterns are the most beautiful thing and in dark green I mean it's dark green <laughs> that's perfect I oh, I'm so excited for these ones and now I want to show you the pieces that I got uh, like a few weeks ago and collected. Let's start with the first piece. Um, this is actually a very, very long skirt. It's a brown long skirt and uh, it's so pretty. It was also way too big so I had to like, um, you know, to sew it a little bit. Um, but that's not a problem. It looks perfect. <laughs> And then I found a beautiful um, like sweater vest in these in this beautiful green blue color. I don't like to wear blue, but I thought it would be like a green blue, so it's okay for me because I just love how it fits. I love that it's vintage, and especially the pattern on it. It makes everything look very cool, and it's. I think it's a very special piece in my um, closet and uh, then I have to tell you I was looking for a midi skirt like for maybe a year now and I didn't found the perfect one and this one sadly is not the perfect one but it's very cool it's way too big for me and I don't want to sew it because I think I would um, mess it up and I don't want to mess this skirt up because as you can see it's very big for me um, but it's so beautiful I love the pattern I wanted to have like a very flowy like as I said like a little bit of a grunge fairy core style with like grungy patterns so it's perfect because I think um, of the dark color and all the browns and blacks and then here it's it's just perfect so because it's so big i have to wear it with a belt as well so i have to wear like oversized hoodie or a sweater vest or whatever over it um to hide like this weird looking waist kind of thing but we have fall so i can wear all my vintage sweaters and i have no excuses to not wear this beautiful skirt um so i'm very excited for it <laughs> um yes 
I really hope you like my pieces as well and I hope you liked this little trip with me kind of thing. It's um, a little bit weird for me to film in um, to film outside and in thrift stores and stuff but I try my best because I love thrifting and I wanted to like that you feel the experience of thrifting with me and um, yes I'm very happy to style all the new pieces and I hope you get some inspiration for your like autumn wardrobe as well and I hope we will see you next time bye